Hey guys, Oscar here for Not A Grouch and also a little bit of Poppy Dotty since that's kind of the angle I'm talk talking about today. Yesterday I talked a little bit about APTA website and what I'm building. Well, I have uh, attended the first board meeting for the PTA. And let me tell you that it is very different from a business meeting. I have to warn you, if you are in a position like me to jump in and you want to help, make sure that you consider the implications. I didn't realize how much red tape there will be and how much bureaucracy there is. And it's not because of anybody else's fault. <clears throat> it's not because of anything that they're doing wrong. It's simply because it's a public, it's a semi-private public entity that is regulated by the state <clears throat> and by national guidelines. That means that if you are a do-go-getter entrepreneur, you're going to face a lot of obstacles. If you are a developer and you like to do cowboy development where it's like, hey, let's put this up and let's do this and let's do that, and you, <clears throat> you wing things, you're going to find a lot of obstacles with that. There's a lot of rules and a lot of regulations and a lot of you can't do this and you can't do that and you can't do this. And this is just the first meeting I went to. And I'm not saying it was bad, it was just enlightening. So my grand vision of the website may have to scale back a little bit because, well, things are going to be a little different than I expected. And that's, that's okay. Don't be discouraged if you want to help you can simply learn the rules, play the rules, and then play the game. <clears throat> it's just like anything. You know, I, this is the first time I deal with a very, very publicly funded organization. So they are in a separate little ball ballpark. You know, I've dealt with financial corporations where they're regulated by FINRA and other securities and exchanges, regulations and all that. I've dealt with medical corporations where they have to abide by HIPAA and um, both of those have to, sometimes to deal with SOX compliance, Sarbanes Oxley and you know all types of certifications, ISO certifications and all that. So this is not my first rodeo in having to follow rules rather than doing whatever we want. <clears throat> but be aware that you will face a lot of that. So, primarily, what did I get from the meeting? The meeting was very revealing in a sense that a lot of the people are just like me. They want to help out and they're trying to figure out how to do it and everybody's trying to jump in to do what they can. And that's kind of the spirit that kept me going that, I, that made me not say, you know what, I don't want to do this. The fact that people want to jump in and want to help out, even if they don't know exactly what's going on, that's very encouraging for me because it means that we're all kind of in the same boat. It seems like I was appreciated to be there. One of the things I, that I explained during my, I had a, you know, I had the floor for a few minutes. I explained that we're going to build a website that will be the website to Envy. We've had a couple of smaller smaller group meetings just to discuss kind of how to get started and the consensus was hey well look at this website from this PTA over here that's what we would want to model after and I went to look at it and in fact I had already seen it before it was one of the examples I used to encourage that we use a WordPress based website however I don't see it as an example I see it as I, see, I don't see it as an example to follow. I see it as an example to use, to say, look, they're using WordPress as well. So my goal with this website is to be the website that other websites model after. So I will show you what I've built so far. I will show you what I'm planning on building. The very first phase, which I, I will call it 0.01 version, is going to be the basic, website with a few pages and a blog roll to show news articles fundraising events coming up and calendar events coming up 
We're going to have a widget that shows the upcoming calendar events and we're going to have another widget showing the recent news and postings. Now, from a content perspective, I think that's going to be the toughest part to, to deal with because from my perspective, most of these people are not just people like in the PTA, but in the overall school system, mo most people are still very, very old school as far as technology goes. They still want a paper flyer for everything. They still want everything written down. They want to have photos printed and things like that, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. But my perspective is that all of that should stem from a digital, digital anchor. In other words, it's easier to post, share, create, repurpose, remix content if it's already digital than if you have it in analog form and then you want to make it digital. You can't search it, you can't catalog it, you can't quickly do things with it. So I'm going to be making a push for having everything digital. And as a collective, as a PTA group, they're already taking some steps on that where they are taking payments for, say, the, the spirit wear, you know, the branded t-shirts and sweatshirts and that kind of stuff. They're already established a way to, to collect digital payments <clears throat> via Venmo, for example. So I highly suggest that we that you look at that if you don't already have it. And over the next few videos, I will show you kind of the basics of what I built, what goes into it, what's going to come up, come next on, say, version 0.02 and so on. My goal is to have version 1, you know, 1.0 by early mid-spring next year. So we'll see how that goes. It, it, this is still early on, we're still in September. Everybody's very enthusiastic, including me, and hopefully we continue that trend and we'll see how it goes after this. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.